Hey agents. So um, I have recently put a comment in a, well, a post in the group and the post is for all agents who want me to make a training video. And so this specific training video is going to be on how to purchase travel insurance as a travel agent. And so if you have already been through orientation, you will already have your username and login for Agent Max, which is for Allianz Travel Insurance. Now, for, if for some reason you do not have your username, just reach out to me and I'll, I'll set you all up. So this is the main homepage that we are here. And so the website is agentmaxonline.com backslash agentmaxweb backslash agent portal. Okay, so that's where you're going to log in at. And so, um, and if you have a hard time finding this specific, specific website, all you have to do is type in Allianz, A-L-L-I-A-N-Z-E, Allianz Travel Insurance Travel Agent, and it'll bring you directly to the login page, okay? And so what we're going to do right here, we're going to go ahead and log in. Okay. And so this is going to be your main page. And so all of your, it should say your name, all of your credentials should be there. And then, so let's get a quote. So let's say, um, let's make this, you know, make it real. So we're going to, um, this is where the state of residence for the client or for yourself. And so your um, departure date, let's say it is for July the, let's push it out a little bit. July the 15th through the 20th, okay? And so the, the, the total trip cost, let's call it about, let's call it $4,000, okay? And then so the ages of the travelers, okay? So let's put 34 and then um, kids are free on some of these policies. So any kid traveling with a parent or with a, a grandparent for certain policies, the kids are 100% free. So let's put seven. And so we're going to hit done. And so initial deposit date, um, we can go back as far as um, we can go back along, a, a, a you know, let's let's see. I think it's there's no it's a whole year. OK, so we can go back to um, more than a year when it comes to the initial deposit date. But that will affect the policies that are available to you if you if you forget to purchase travel insurance and, you know, you're there towards the. Um, the, the, you know, beginning of your trip is, you know, it's almost here and you need to purchase travel insurance. So the, the, the more in advance you do your travel insurance, the better the policies are going to be. So don't wait to, to get a travel insurance quote for yourself. And if it's for your client, remember, you guys should always be offering travel insurance to your clients. And guess what? If they don't want it, that's perfectly fine. All they have to do is um, fill out the travel insurance waiver form. And that's right here. And so travel insurance is going to protect um, your client, and it's going to also protect you. The last thing that you want is for your client to go out of, uh, out of country and then get hurt and then say, oh, this agent did not offer me travel insurance. That's a whole nother problem, okay? So let's just say over here, the initial deposit date was February the 1st. So we're just going to press get a quote. Okay. And so these are the different policies that are available. And you see right here, it says kids are free. And so it gives you a, you know, a bunch of specifics of the policies. And so deposit date is either missing or is outside of acceptable number of days. So you see, it's been 16 days, you know, since, you know, I supposedly booked this policy, um, supposedly paid my deposit on the trip. So some policies are not even available. OK, so it's very important to I mean, there's tons of other policies available, but um, it's very important for you to book this as soon as you can. OK. OK, so how I personally like to look at uh, travel insurance, I like to do the product comparison. OK, and so this it brings the prices up here. And it makes everything, um, you know, way easier to look at, okay? And so let's say we wanted to do the classic plan, but let's also say that you're getting ready to place this inside of a client's proposal, okay? So what you would do, if you're getting ready to either place this inside of a client's proposal or you're getting ready to email the client to see which one that they actually want, I highly recommend doing the email product comparison. And so we're just gonna, you know, email it to me. Okay. Well, this has two names, so. Huh? 
All right, so select the product. So I always just choose the classic, the basic, and the essential. So classic plan 2021, essential plan 2021, and then the basic plan 2021. Those are where I always start off. And then so I'm not going to put anything there. They send out really nice emails already. And so it's going to send. And if it, it usually takes a few seconds to actually um, get through sending it, but it will let you know if it actually sent. And if there's a policy that's not available, it will also let you know that as well. Okay, while that's going, let me go ahead and um, open up my email and watch out for it. Okay. It's a going, it's a going. Okay, so it is done sending and this is exactly what it's going to look like. Okay, so let's go back to the other screen. And so while that's doing that, let's jump over to my email. So I did have a chance to pull up the email while that was spinning. Okay, and so this is what the comparison is going to look like. And so um, if you wrote anything, it's going to come up right here, right below. Um, below is your document, um, your Christopher from Allianz Insurance. So um, you just simply send this out to your client. And you see exactly which one of these policies that your client wants. Okay, so let's say um, our client wants the classic plan. You know, it, it, I usually choose the classic plan, but your clients may be different. Okay, so whenever I do, um, when I'm booking something for a client, I do automatically add in the insurance. But the insurance that I add in is usually classic, and I also give them the option to downgrade the insurance. I always tell them that you know you can always upgrade or downgrade your um, insurance. Just let me know. But for the most part, clients usually go for the classic plan because. You know, it includes some stuff that, you know, the other policies don't include. So let's say they went with the classic plan right there. So um, let's jump back over to Agent Max. Okay, so this is it. So we're going to simply click Select. Okay, and then on the next screen, it's going to be, um, so 715 and 720, that is correct. So let's say the destination is Hawaii. Okay, there you go. And the supplier. Okay, so you can, um, if you cannot find your supplier here, all you have to do is type O for other. So O, and there's an other button that's in here. Not listed yet. Oh, I'm sorry. It's called not listed. I apologize. So not listed. And then so at this point, you're going to go ahead and fill in your client's information. And if you're at this point, um, you have already had your client's uh, approval. Um, they have already submitted uh, their payment for that. And then at this point, you're going to go ahead and process your client's payment. Um, you're going to press purchase after you put in all your client's information. And then you'll get an email and your client will get an email with all of the documents and policies and stuff. Um, let's see, some other things that Allianz is really good for, they have a lot of resources. So uh, if you wanted to post something to social media, of course, that's here. We have your uh, uh, marketing opportunities, group travel, user manual, like there's a bunch of different manuals that are in here. And then in, inside of the training portal, it's going to bring up the Travel Agent Academy. So Travel Agent Academy, this is where you're going to learn um, Allianz Travel Insurance in, in, you know, in detail. They're going to go very um, much so into detail about their product. OK, and so you're going to press enroll and this is going to be a full training course. And at the end of this training course, once you've passed your test, you've learned, of course, you're going to get your travel certificate for that. And, you know, you can post it on social media or put it in a file, however you choose to, um, to use that. You can, of course, do that. OK, so back over here. 
And so commissions for Allianz Travel Insurance is 10 to 36% commission. Um, I know off the top of my head that the essential plan is 10%. And I believe that the basic plan may be um, 10% as well. There's other, other policies in the middle, but I also know that the classic plan is 36% commission. It's one of the better um, policies. And then if you do have a travel agent website, uh, your booking engine for travel insurance is already on there. And so if you um, have your own website outside of that, all you will have to do to get this put on your, your booking, um, get this put, in your, put on your website, all you will have to do, this will look different for you. Like this is the master account. So um, let's see, how can I go in it? Okay, so um, you all of this will have your info. It's called, where is it called? It's called Quote Max. Okay, here it is right here. All right, so you go to Quote Max. Let's just do the first person that, you know, I find. Okay, so agent code, let's see. All right, so let's say that. Okay, so multiple products, you will always put yes. Okay, so never limit yourself to one travel insurance product that's offered to your clients. And so default product, I always leave that there. And then you're going to choose whichever image that you want. And then you'll choose whichever layout you want. Okay, and so once you have that, you're going to hit create. And then in that link is going to pop up. And so this is what it's going to look like. Okay. Okay, and so this is exactly what your travel insurance website is going to look like if you decide to make all, your own travel insurance website. All right. All right, and so here is your travel agent quote tool. And so clients come over here, they put their, their, you know, the same thing that you just put in, they get a quote. If they like the quote, they purchase a quote. And guess what? You guys are getting paid commission and you guys, you know, didn't have to do all of the hard lifting for that. So um, this is going to wrap up this specific training video on how to book travel insurance as a travel agent. If you guys have any additional questions about Allianz Travel Insurance, just reach out to me and I'll be happy to show you more. Until our next video, I'll talk to you soon.